dear students welcome to the course on network theory in the previous video we have discussed the linearity of elements okay and we found out that resistor inductor and capacitors are linear and voltage source and current source are not linear okay in today's session uh, we will be seeing if elements are connected in series okay so what is the okay so that we take up in general series connection means elements are said to be connected in series if one terminal of an element is connected to another one terminal of the another element okay so it is like a cascade connection right so one to one it is connected so there should be no other terminal of a third element connected to the common node so this is nothing but so there will be two elements connected here okay so two elements connected and there is no third element should be connected at this common point okay so if you connect this this becomes cascade right it becomes parallel connection shunt connection okay so it should not be there so then we call that connection as a series connection so what is the property in series connection is same current flows in the two elements whatever current enter to this element the same current will Uh, enter to the second element it may be n number of elements the current will be same okay whereas voltage is different okay so that is the property of the series connection so having said this uh, we'll discuss now uh, each of the elements so resistors in series uh, voltage sources in series we'll discuss okay so first before that some more things so this is in general again okay so we have connected three elements here okay element a element b element c we have not taken any example here and across the element a we have denoted voltage va and then vb and then vc and the total terminal voltage we denote it as vs okay so and we have told that current entering the first i which will be same for all the three so the same current comes over here that means if you apply kcl same current flows through abc okay so kcl applies so it should not uh, does not disobey the principle it is obeying okay so based having said this so based on this we will do the calculation of uh, resistors inductors connected in series okay so from this uh, it is vs minus va plus minus vb equal to 0 or vs is equal to va plus vb plus vc so just we have applied the kirchhoff's voltage law okay so here it is minus 2 plus vs okay so this is plus minus plus minus plus minus okay all these are in same potential so va vb vc so adding this it should be equal to the whatever supplied voltage okay so that is the meaning so the total voltage across the ends of the series connection is equal to sum of individual voltage across elements so this is the property of the series connection okay so now we'll see the each of the elements firstly resistors in series okay so you have already gone through this in basic electrical but again uh, students are repeatedly making mistake that's why i am taking this uh, again okay so carefully uh, work on this okay so that it is required to do the further calculations in network theory okay so having said that the three elements only we will consider here and our resistors will denote it as r1 r2 r3 okay and the voltage across that is denoted as v1 v2 and v3 okay so the current through all the three elements is same i from the property of series connection okay so if you write from ohm's law so when it comes to resistor it is ohm's law helps good so we will write the equation for the three voltages v1 v2 v3 because this is different so in this all the three cases i is constant right that's why i will not change resistor is changing okay so with respect to first resistor v1 is equal to i into r1 v2 is equal to i into r2 v3 is equal to i into r3 so this will be written as an single equivalent resistance that we call it as rs and the voltage across that will be vs we will consider current i is same so vs is equal to it is vs is equal to i into rs so from the property of series connection total voltage vs is equal to individual summation of the currents right so vs is equal to v1 plus v2 v3 we have taken va vb vc in earlier case 
sides with respect to this now it is v1 plus v2 plus v3 so just we substitute the v1 v2 v3 and vs vs is i into rs v1 is i r1 v2 is i r2 i r3 so in all the three i is constant so it is taken outside common r1 plus r2 plus r3 so this i and this i will cancel out so rs is equal to r1 plus r2 r3 which indicates the equivalent resistance of a number of resistances connected in series is equal to the sum of individual resistances okay so this is the thing so if any resistors connected in series just will add together and will write is a single equivalent resistance clear so this is you have done already we'll just a repetition we'll go for next element which is inductor so inductors in series we require the voltage current relationship again that's why i have considered the elements first and then i have taken this okay so again inductors are represented as a coils okay so l1 l2 l3 are the three different inductances voltage across that is denoted as v1 v2 v3 and the current through that is same okay and this will be replaced by a single equivalent resistance denoted as ls with a voltage vs and current same i now if we write the equation from inductor so inductor v is equal to l into di by dt so now with respect to v1 so i is constant l is changing right so l1 into di by dt l2 into di by dt l3 into di by dt and vs is ls into di by dt from the property of series connection total voltage vs is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 so ls di by dt is equal to so in all the three di by dt is common that's why straight away di by dt is taken outside and l1 plus l2 plus l3 so this di by dt and this di by dt cancel out so what you will get ls is equal to l1 plus l2 l3 which is same as the resistor okay so the equivalent conduct and inductance of a number of inductances connected in series is equal to the sum of individual inductances okay so if inductances are connected in series you can replace it with a single equivalent inductance by adding the induct individual inductances clear so now next come capacitor will consider so capacitors again we'll consider three elements okay so denote it as c1 c2 c3 and the voltage across that is v1 v2 v3 and the current i it will be replaced by a single effective capacitance ce effective or cs also we can write and the current through that is same i okay and the voltage through that is denoted as maybe vs okay i have not written that you can write it so now we require the E uh, equation in terms of voltages because we need to add the voltages right that's why in terms of voltage so actually the capacitance equation so straight away it is available to us is c into dv by dt but i want in terms of v v now that's why i have taken the another equation v is nothing but i into dt 1 by c so differentiation is there it will come integration so that's why 1 by c d i uh, integration of i dt is the equation so now with respect to three capacitances v1 is equal to 1 by c1 i1 dt 1 by c2 i dt v3 is 1 by c3 i dt and the final effective capacitance 1 by cs or c effective is equal to i dt okay so in all the cases i dt is common right integration i dt is common same property vs is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 We'll add it. So one by C effective I dt is equal to one by C one plus one by C two plus one by C three I dt. Okay. So that's why one by C effective is equal to one by C one plus one by C two plus one by C three. So this is reverse. Okay. In the series connection inductor and resistor, you will add straight away. But here we'll take the reciprocal and add it. Okay. So that is about capacitors in series. Similarly, current sources. they are also elements in used in electric circuits coming to voltage sources so this is straight away right so property of series connection if uh, three voltage sources are connected v1 v2 v3 with the same terminal uh, terminologies so then straight away vx can be written as v1 plus v2 plus v3 okay so the three voltages connected in series is equivalent to for example if 1 volt 2 volt and 3 volt is connected in series then we can say it is equal to one single notation with 6 volt 
okay again notation is important here plus minus plus minus plus minus in case one of the thing is minus plus here then you have to do the subtraction okay v1 plus v2 minus v3 will come okay or else if you have plus also the value will be taken as minus okay so it should be careful when you are doing the elementary operations on the circuit so finally there is a clause okay so current sources should not be connected in series okay it is a big mistake in the electric circuit so it should not be done why so current sources we could not connect it is not permitted connection in electric circuit okay so it is not permitted because it is violating the kirchhoff's current law so current entering the node should be equal to current leaving the node right but here i1 is different i2 is different it does not obey the principle of kcl so unless it is i1 i2 if i1 is equal to i2 then we can say it is a any one current i2 is equal to i1 or i1 is equal to i2 then it's okay but if two different currents you could not connect in series it may create problems okay so i1 if i2 is equal to i1 if i2 is not equal to 1 it is not permitted the current sources cannot be connected in series unless they are identical what will happen the paralleling of generates with non linear similar voltage waveforms results in heavy currents and it may damage the equipment you may be seen in houses right the fan or your refrigerator or coils it may be damaging sometime because of the uh, short or the current heavy currents flowing in the circuit okay so that's why uh, this should be remembered so in series connection voltage source resistor inductor capacitors are connected and their output is calculated but current sources should not be connected in series unless they are identical okay so this is about the element connected in series connection okay so in the next video we will be looking at uh, parallel connection okay